probably not sure why I've got my hat on it. It's very mild at the end of January, as has been a sad trend, it seems, this winter. And you can see for yourself, just as you look around, what the dominant colour is at the moment. Brown, yellow, anything but white. It's quite alarming, really. It's been so mild. And the snow has been transitory. What well, few heavy falls there have been, and there have been some, they've not lasted long. And the winters are getting leaner, less reliable, more changeable, fewer cold spells. And when we do get them, they're shorter. And it's, it's a shame. But somebody actually told me about this word that I'd not come across before, which I'm surprised I hadn't really, called solastalgia, that was coined by an environmental philosopher in Australia almost 20 years ago, when he saw what people's changing environments where they lived in Australia and the upper Hunter Valley were changing, either through drought or mining or whatever, and he saw the effect it had on people, that it makes them sad, unsettled, stressed, even mentally ill, or physically ill. Um, and he called it this thing, solastalgia, which is a mix, mix of the Latin roots of solace, uh, pain, and nostalgia. And it's to describe, as he calls it, homesickness, but when you're at home. It's a sense that your home is changing and you can't do anything about it. And it's almost, it's changing so radically, so fundamentally that it almost doesn't feel like your home anymore. And it makes you feel unsettled. And that's exactly what I've been feeling the last, certainly this winter. Because as I say, you can have one lean winter and that can be, you get over it. It's a lean winter and you tell yourself the next year will be better and it usually is, or it used to be. Now, it seems, year after year after year, it's becoming more difficult to get the kind of winter conditions that really sustain me throughout the whole of the year. So I'm starting to think it's changing fundamentally how I interact with this landscape and certainly in winter. And when the, the hills are looking like they are now, I don't feel the same pull to go up them. And so I do feel that I am that I'm losing the hills in winter. I don't have any great joy to go off to walk brown hills in winter because in my head, a voice is always saying, this isn't how it's supposed to look. And it just reminds me of what it should be like and how it's changing. It just makes me sad. And I don't want to have that. I don't want to be walking in the hills feeling sad. I suppose I'll get over it in time. You know, if this is the new normal, I'll get over it and it'll be the new normal and I won't think anything of it. And I might be, I might have to be glad of dustings of snow. But it is cumulative, and with every year this happens, it, it just compounds this, what I've called this malaise, I suppose. And I feel sad, um, and I'm not sure where it's gonna, all gonna end up. It's gonna take me a while to get over it.